Hi, and thank you for listening. This is Sherry Andrea, and I appreciate you. If you're looking for me, you can find me at sherryspeaks.com, where you will find 80 plus attunements starting at $2.50. I always have um, one of them, the Reiki 1, 2, and Master, for free. The reason why is so that for those of you who have never done like online attunements or you've been told they don't work, so that you can just give it a try for yourself before you just decide to buy attunements. So just trying to help you out so you can get a taste of it, you know, before you decide whether this is for you or not. Um, and 80 plus attunements, there's a little something for everyone. Um, then also I want to remind you the readings are still on sale I've been trying to keep them on sale for as long as possible to help people out um, yeah it's I, I realize it's tough these days um, it's tough for me too you know you gotta afford gas you gotta afford food you got it's not getting any easier um, we're getting back to normal but our but it's a new normal you know what I mean it's a new norm um, okay, and then so the readings are still on sale $15 for 30 minutes in the description You know, there's a link to where you can go to schedule it at sherry speaks now dot simply book dot me um, Also, I've been doing the energy clearings by phone they have been really popular. We have been making a lot of headway. We've been helping people get rid of things that people have done to them that are getting in the way of them being able to use their abilities, fully develop, um, advance spiritually. We've been doing some really great things to kind of knock down the evil that exists in the things that um, people do to people out of hatred, jealousy. So if you have a problem that you have not been able to resolve, that you need to be cleared of, then feel free to schedule the, uh, the energy clearing by phone. And um, hey, we'll go head on with this. Um, the energy clearings by phone are nice because I do speak the whole way through it so you know what I'm doing. Um, you end up learning different techniques that I use that you can also use for yourself. And, um, you know, I kind of guide you not only in, like I'm using my higher self so it is intuitive. So I'm telling you what my higher self sees, what my higher self is saying about it. But not only that, but you're, you're learning techniques that you can use as well. Okay, so let's get right down to it. This is going to be a short video. Somebody had asked me in, I think, the comments section of one of the videos to talk about uh, doing distance attunements. Um, doing anything by distance, I want to say this. Use your imagination. That is the most important thing. You have to use your imagination. And let me give you an example. When you're, I have something in the microwave and it's going to ding and it's going to be embarrassing. I'm just letting y'all know. Okay, <laughs> so um, using your imagination is like, can you say, okay, I'm going to clear myself, I'm going to clear or heal someone else. Can you get into it in a way that is using your imagination? Meaning, just simply start off by asking your higher self, higher self, help me to do this clearing for such and such a person or healing for such and such a person. Get it started that way. Okay, now that your higher self is on board, use some techniques. First of all, I always use a violet flame. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> you, I always use a violet flame. The very first thing I always do is I ask my higher self, surround them with the violet flame. And I usually say attuned to, often my go-to is black tourmaline, sometimes oregon, or 
Use your intuition. Go with what you're guided to to use. I That's how I started off. Then I go from there. I will, you don't have to voice everything. What I do next is, for example, if it's an attunement, I voice it. I ask my higher self, I'll say, attune such and such. And maybe you might say, attune Jane Doe in, in um, Seattle to such and such a modality. Now, when you ask to attune someone, make sure that you say the whole thing. Okay, for example, what I mean is, are you doing levels? Like, is it ethereal crystal therapy? You need to say level one, level two, or you need to say level one through nine. A lot of people have that question for me. They're like, oh, but is it, you know, all the levels? What it? I always do the attunements on my website are complete. It is all of the levels. So if it's one through four, yeah, you're 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 not I'm not making you pay for those individually. I'm not like, oh, level one is five dollars, level two is five dollars. No, I'm not doing that. I'm doing level one through four. But when you are attuning somebody and and asking your higher self, please attune so and so in Seattle to such and such, like ethereal crystal therapy level one through nine. So be specific, is what I'm saying. What comes after that? I'll tell you what comes after that. Okay, then the next thing I do is I visualize, I close my eyes for a moment and I visualize that energy flowing into me from my higher self through my heart chakra, back out, and I imagine it going up and down into their crown and filling them like a cup and running over them. That's what I visualize. Now, here's the thing. You can get more specific than that. Let's say that you're attuning them um, to something where you're like, they. this person complained to me that they felt that their hand chakras aren't opened up. So before I finish, what I could do is using Reiki, I can use the ch Choku Rei symbol and just visualize them holding their palms face up and visualize that symbol going down into their palms. And I can like basically visualize it in a way where um, I'm imagining their, the, their chakras and their palms opening up. Maybe I can see a flower in the palm of their hand opening up, the petals opening. Or I could see just a disc expanding and opening. Whatever, like what, what, what can you imagine? What can you come up with? This is about imagination. Imagination is what's getting it done. As well as, as you know, intention. The combination of those two things, well, actually three things. Um, intention, imagination, and visualization. That's what's going to make whatever you do effective and powerful. So when it comes to distance, this is just simple. This is just simple imagining when I, like when I close my eyes and I see energy flowing into me from my higher self, I imagine that my higher self is standing behind me and I see energy flowing into my heart chakra, back out of my heart chakra, through, through the front of my chest, up and into their crown chakra. I visualize it filling them. Now, for those of you that are like, oh, I'm not good at visualizing, please don't make a statement like that and just leave it. Because that's almost like telling someone, uh, come up with something else because I'm not good at visualizing. No, I expect you to try anyway. Well, you know why? Because the more you practice visualizing, the better you get with it because visualization is a skill. It's not something you're supposed to be 
automatically good at. It's a skill. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So I expect you to try. I'm not asking you to be the best at it. I'm just saying I expect you to try. And you will notice from trying that the more you do it, the more you practice visualizing, oh, the better you're going to get at it until you become real powerful to the point where you can be mid-conversation talking to somebody and you can be visualizing all types of energy you're flowing through them and clearing them and healing them without missing a beat in the conversation you're having with them. That's all there is to it. And this is something that can be practiced by you every day. Whether you have somebody to work on or not, just you don't have to. Just practice doing it. I don't care if you're practicing doing it with an inanimate object, with a house plant. Just practice doing it. You know, th that's the key is... The key is that you don't realize how easy and simple it is. Because often we've been made to feel like everything is so difficult. It's not. It's not brain surgery. If I could do it, anybody can do it. All you got to do is try. So I would love to hear from you in the comments section as you're trying and you're experimenting you know, comment and say what some of your, um, you know, what some of your results were. Some of you are going to find amazing things happening. Some of you are going to have amazing experiences. So please do share that. Share different things you tried, different things you came up with to try using your imagination. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for always being there. Remember, if you um, have a little extra money, please feel free to donate. It helps keep me going. It helps pay for the hosting costs, the domain costs. There are so many costs nowadays. Um, the scheduler costs. I mean, it's never ending. Um, but it helps. So sherryspeaks.com slash donate. And there are like tons of different ways to donate. Um, directly via credit card, PayPal, or Cash App. There's all different kinds of ways to donate. So I appreciate it. Even if you can only donate $5, that is helpful, believe me. Okay, you guys have a great west rest of your week. Um, just keep trying and keep practicing. And you're I promise you, you're going to get there. You're going to get to exactly where you want to be. Okay, thank you and have a good night. Namaste.